Hey everyone, GoBots here, back to with a brand new video for Warface Breakout. Today in the video we'll be covering which gun is best for you on offense and defense for each category. So this is our gun picks video. I uh, thank you all so much for tuning in and supporting this series as we continue to cover Breakout here on the channel. Looking forward to the first big patch that will fix a lot of the issues we've been having. But uh, uh, yeah, a lot of you have been asking me uh, in the comment section, you've been asking me which guns I prefer to use for attack, defense, uh, early round, late round, you know, whatever the situation may be. So today, I'm just gonna kind of break down uh, each gun I use for the Wardens, Reapers, uh, good alternates you can use as well. We'll have some gameplay thrown in there as well from just some random matches as well. But let's go ahead and jump into the Warden side, which of course is for our defense. So on the Warden side, early round, y'all, early round strategy, especially I'm talking about hardcore here, casual, you can throw that out the window. I'm talking about hardcore, uh, strategy here. Uh, so for early rounds, I you can't go wrong with the Glock 18C, the automatic pistol. It does so much good damage, 36 damage with a, the RPM at 600, which is just so much far and above everything else it has out there. So the Glock 18C absolutely is the best pistol uh, for your money in early round, especially there's Gizmo, my namesake, um, <laughs> making his way into my videos, y'all. Gizmo uh, is my now my new logo, but uh. Uh, excuse him, but my Glock 18C absolutely is the best pistol you can use in early round, and I highly recommend, even in mid to late rounds, y'all, use the Glock 18C as your secondary. That way, if you're running a sniper or anything else and you run out of ammo, you can quick swap over to your secondary, and you can still finish off enemies pretty quickly, especially if they're low on armor or health or anything. So Glock 18C, definitely the best pistol you can use anywhere you have on defense, especially in early rounds where you need to have a good econ buys going forward. So now moving on to the rest of the guns, uh, you have your SMG shotgun, assaults, and your snipers. So let's talk about my favorite picks for each category first and then talk about where we want to use these and when we want to use these. So for the SMGs, this is by far my favorite uh, class of guns you have in the game currently. I don't use the MP5 very often or the Super very often at all. I just think the Super does a really good amount of re uh, recoil control, but it doesn't do near enough damage to really be a, a good pick for me unless you get headshots all the time. Uh, but for me personally, I roll between the MPX and the Desert Tech. Now. The important thing to note here is when you're going to use these types of guns. For my MPX, I've actually equipped a two times scout scope, which gives it a bit more, uh, not not range in terms of actually shooting, but in terms of me being able to aim accurately at a longer range. This thing can it can it, it can just kill really long ranges with this sight, uh, almost like an automatic rifle. To be honest with you, as as a rifle, but. Uh, I, I highly recommend on maps similar to like Facility or um, even in some senses City, anything that has long sights, sight lines for you, Sandstorm's another good one for that. Uh, long sight lines where you can look through. Uh, I highly recommend if you want to use something that is burst fire but isn't just like a sniper. Uh, the, the MPX on defense, y'all, is really, really good at holding those long sight lines for you. Uh, that way you can get picks doing that. But if you're doing a smaller map, maybe you want to be able to have automatic fire. Uh, you can't go wrong with a Desert Tech, and you really, you can't go wrong with a Desert Tech in any situation. It is the best overall stat-wise in the SMG category, but if you want something that has a higher rate of fire, uh, that can melt enemies really quickly, especially in close range, let's say you're playing on a map like Oasis, uh, a little bit smaller map, a little bit tighter, uh, the Desert Tech can absolutely destroy on that map. So you can't go wrong with either the MPX for bigger maps with long sight lines or the Desert Tech on anything else. Uh, those are the two best SMGs in my opinion on defense. Moving on to the shotgun category. I haven't really dabbled in shotguns too much to be honest with you guys, but I can say from my small amount of use, uh, you can't go wrong with the automatic Typhoon, the rapid fire, the F12 here. It does absolutely, uh, it, it just shreds. It's got 200 RPM, which is the highest outside of the uh the mossberg but uh the typhoon is pretty dang solid the saiga is not bad either the saiga out there it, it, it does 252 damage which is the absolute most out of any of the guns but if you want to be able to rapid fire just run around a map like oasis uh you could use this typhoon to a, a good mount but i would say personally for me speaking and sandstorm actually you can use this this gun on i've seen it used on me plenty of times but uh i'd personally say unless you're just a shotgun uh, runner, you like to use them. Uh, stay away from the shotgun category until they get some essential buffs. Uh, so moving on to the assault gun category on defense. 
You have your four assaults here. For me personally, guys, I love the FAMAS burst fire. Uh, again, I don't use it all the time because I, I, for me, I look at the FAMAS and I look at the MPX and I said, which one can give me the lowest amount of recoil but still melt enemies? And for me, it's no contest. The FAMAS does do better damage overall, but that, that recoil control is at high. Uh, whereas the MPX is at low and does just a little bit less damage overall. So if you want to look at the damage, y'all, it does 44 damage for the FAMAS. Going on to the MPX, the MPX does uh, 14 less damage at 30, but that recoil is low, so you can just spit that out at 650 RPM compared to the FAMAS that does a 400 RPM. So really, in my opinion, if you're gonna, if you want to buy there, I know the FAMAS is a cheaper buy, uh, but I say save out, get that MPX if you want to use a burst fire type gun. Uh, kick the FAMAS out of there. If you want to use something else that's rapid fire for the AR, I recommend on the defense side, use the SCAR-H. It uh, does 50 damage, a medium recoil control, which is really, really good. Put a red dot or the green dot sight on it. You cannot go wrong with that, uh, in my opinion. Now, moving on to the sniper rifles. Everybody's been practicing, getting ready for the quick snipes. And I've used every single one of these so far. And I can tell you, personally speaking, on... Uh, the offensive side or on the defensive side here i love for just any round you can use the sv98 and be good man it does 100 damage uh the penetration is at 0.89 uh it actually does the second best overall damage compared to that of the bushmaster now which is the best at 130 damage but the rpm is out there at the a little bit higher so i mean it is a bolt action sniper so with every single shot you're gonna have to re-bolt and then get back in there with the next bullet uh, so it, it is a little bit slower rate of fire at 150 compared to the Bushmaster, which is at a clip size So it's at a 200 RPM. So for snipers I recommend using the cheapest option at any point you want to for your snipes And then if you want to use the Bushmaster once you have more money saved uh, Use the Bushmaster out there on defense for quick snipes and uh, you have a better RPM as well So that is for the defensive side for the wardens let's now switch on over to the reapers for the attacking side and give you my picks on attacking which ones you should use and not use so here we go obviously for the pistol no questions about it you got to use the cz 75 auto again this thing is comparable to that of the glock on the other side it does the same exact stats pretty much and everything it can melt early game for you and it could be the best secondary gun you can have out there for you it costs just 600 uh, credits, I believe, whenever you're trying to purchase that in match. So you can't go wrong with the CZ Auto. Uh, use that anytime you can. Now, moving on to my favorite class, of course, the SMGs. And my favorite gun, period, right now in the game is the PM84. I say use this gun no matter what map you're on, no matter what situation you're in. I love it. I, I, I know it's pretty much the same exact thing as what you have with the MPX, but for some reason, this PM84, man, it just, I just. I'm attached to it. I love it so, so stinking much. It's such a good weapon. But again, you put you could put on that uh, that scope sight if you want to add some more range to it. If you don't, if you kind of want to just run and gun a little bit more with it, uh, you can't go wrong with the red dot sight or dropping down here to the, the EOTech uh, MK2, which is like the green dot uh, sight down there. But you can't go wrong with that. But if you want to add a little bit more range for sniping type options, pretty much with it, like an automatic rifle AR, uh, add that that scope sight and our scout sight, and you'll be good options there. Uh, if you're not going to use the PM84 though, and you want to be able to save a little bit and roll with the top option, I mean, obviously it's got the best stats out of all of them. The LWRC SMG45 uh, can it's automatic SMG. It, it shreds. Uh, mid to close obviously and it also with burst firing controlled recoil you can hit long options as well long shots uh, but again for me use the pm84 in any chance you can on the attacking side and I, th I really do think if you can get used to the burst fire on it you can't go wrong with the pm84 so moving on to shotguns again i'm not a big fan of these shotguns overall but i have uh i have used the sap a little bit it's okay it's a a uh, single fire mode so it does a really really high damage the rpm at 325 which is actually uh the second best outside of the winchester which is at a 1200 uh but then after that the cool skin i hear the dragon skin on the Uzcon, uh the ung 12 it's actually I, I like the rapid fire of it because if i'm just running and gunning and i want to be able to quickly kill enemies but not have to sit there and wait between shots uh, i'm gonna roll with this but again shotguns i say currently still avoid currently until they get some buffs i'm moving on to the assault rifles now i am not a fan of the ak-103 in the slightest i do like however the infield a lot i think uh for the burst fire of it again it's similar to the famas i do say this if you want a budget 
uh, AR and you're not wanting to use the SMG or the PM84 or anything like that, I really do think it is okay to use the infield. Uh, I've used it in a fair amount of matches so far and I really, really like it. And actually out of all these right now that I have used, if I'm going to use an AR on attack, it's going to be the infield. The rest of these I just kind of don't really use. So for my pick, uh, I say you can't go wrong with the infield L85A2. Uh, if you want to use something else, I suppose the, L the VHS is not a bad pick as well. So moving on now to the final thing here is the snipers. So the snipers, um, again, comparable to what is on the defensive side, but this is my favorite sniper in the game currently. That is the AWM. Uh, it does 100 base damage with the RPM at 150. Um, again, you can buy this early rounds. You can buy this late rounds. Real realistically, as long as you get really good headshots and you're good with your snipers, um, you're going to be able to, to completely own with this. Now, the tricky spot with this a AWM is if you're being rushed by two people or something like that because the RPM is lower. Uh, you're going to have to pull out that secondary to that auto pistol and really melt an enemy real quick. But if you're wanting to use something that's got more punch, uh, obviously, I say I, I, I don't use these middle ones at all. They just don't do enough damage. 85 damage and 50 damage is just not enough for me to justify using those unless you change the sight on them, which uh, realistically, you can't even change it down to an, an ACOG or anything like that, so it's not really worth it. But if you're going to use something else that's got even more punch, it does the most damage out of all the snipers here. It's 130 damage. The RPM is at 200. Use the Truvello CMS 20 times 42 millimeter right there. Uh, you cannot go wrong with this sniper, that 50 caliber sniper on it. Uh, this thing has so much punch to it, but if you can get the hit regardless, I mean, really, if you can get a hit on a body with this thing, uh, you're gonna you're gonna melt them really dang quick. Uh, and most time it's a one shot, one kill with this gun. So if you want to save and use the best sniper in the game, save for the Travello. If you don't want to save and you're good with the AWM, uh, you really can't go wrong with the first pick there with the AWM. But those are my overall picks uh, so far after, you know, just the first week really here for Warface breakout between the Wardens on defense and the Reapers on offense. I'm sure these picks will change over the course of my time playing this game, over the months and years and all that. But I'll continue to update this video, maybe do other videos down the line after updates and whatnot, after patches happen, buffs and nerfs and things like that. But uh, again, right now I would say for the, my favorite weapon overall for the Wardens on defense, my favorite weapon right now is the SIG MPX SBR. Uh, it's got so much versatility to close to long range. Uh, depending on what site you want to use and how you want to use it uh, going on to the attack side my favorite weapon again it's the burst fire smg it's the pm84 so much versatility in it uh, but my second favorite pick would be probably right now the lwrc and then for the other side uh, for the SMG, it's going to be the Desert Tech. So I'm an SMG roller right now. I do like some other picks there for the AWR, uh, the, 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 the other snipers and stuff like that. I do like the infield for other stuff as well as, as well as the Scar H. But it's all up to you. What picks do you roll with right now in Breakout? Let me know down in the comment section. If you enjoyed today's weapon picks video here, let me know. I hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate any and all support. But thank you all so much for following us here at GoBotch Gaming. If you enjoy this channel and you want to see more Warface Breakout content, let us know. But thank you all so much. Y'all, please stay safe out there. Y'all have a great rest of your day as always. And we'll see each and every single one of you back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy.